Good kitten internet. There's one right here purring a whole bunch. Full of so many purrs. So this is episode two of two of the backtrack. Hopefully of two. Um, otherwise we might have a problem. Um, two of two of the backtrack. Where last time we had finished up all that money can buy. Um, we haven't finished it. Or, sorry. Um, we have done all the prepping. Yeah, finished prep for to it. the um, exchange. Yep. And also um, positioning Sam to want us and want our body. Anyway. Let's get back into this. So. Guinea. I do not want to shoot them, guinea cat. I know you're being cute and all, but do not rub up against my hand that's holding the mouse. It's okay. You don't have to move okay. him. I just want him on my lap. That's fine. You want the purrs. No. Now we need to go back to uh, the Astral Lounge. Security's got its eyes on Saburo Akadigbo. That guy's trouble for the status quo, if you know what I mean. Yeah, well, the status quo can go fuck been itself. Pretty bold lately. You know, I'm glad I'm playing a game that's rated M because otherwise this would actually get educated from you dropping an F-bomb that early in the video. I'm serious. YouTube has started doing that yeah, well... within the first 45 seconds of the video. It will actually block it. But I don't have monetization anyway, so it's irrelevant. Yeah. All right, we're here. Now, I don't know what the seller looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them. Larger than normal. Big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Those are the scientists that discovered neon gas, apparently. But you don't know what the seller looks like? It's not like people who trade in stolen goods are eager to share personally identifying information. Right. Are they? Hmm. Got it. Standard operating procedure for business on Neon. Cloak and Dagger's par for the course. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. There's a citizen with a briefcase walking through. But that's a normal size yep. briefcase. Our oh, parents are still uh, here. Look at the color. But uh, the person is actually up here. Unfortunately, it's hard to try to figure out where it is. Um, you can hire people here, but all but one of them are generic and dancing around slash drinking. And the one that's not generic is an idiot. And I hate him so much. I never tried using him. I'm thinking of maybe doing that. Okay. So I'm just going to show him. It's Mickey Caviar. Say, kid. How'd you like to hitch your wagon to a celebrity star? Hmm? That's right. The Mickey Caviar is in the market for a job, and you look like someone who could use a great ship's cook. What do you say? No. Oh. None of those skills are useful to you. Yes. Gastronomy, not a useful skill. Wellness, completely useless on an NPC. Incapacitation's not useless on an NPC, but... If you are going a pacifist run and want everyone to use... Yes. I deserve better anyway. It's really hard to get your um, followers to equip a Noah Blast Disruptor. He would probably prefer it since he has skill mm -hmm. in it. That really happened, right? What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? With your hands like this. Mm-hmm. Nice pin you got there. It's worth exactly zero credits. Same as my career, so don't get any ideas. Fun fact, if you kill him, you get to be able to loot the jacket that he's wearing, which includes the pin. It's unique to him. But I'm with Sam Wise and Gabbers. Never heard of you. Excuse <laughs> me. Something you need? Ah, it's already gone. Something that. you need? Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? 
Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Right. You may notice that Precognition also Excuse me. Uh, predicts a path an NPC will take. Interesting. Not just dialogue options. Yeah. That's what all of that all those lights were. I was wondering about that. You need to talk to Walter. First. Oh, right. Nope. Or not. Apparently not. We talked to Walter before, but. What are you looking at? I was going to go back down, but nope. Apparently not. So you, Stroud. You look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing. Official photo is that of Quark. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Eh. I'll sit. No sense making anyone uncomfortable. So polite. Reconstant Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? I wonder if he says something like that if you strip yourself naked first. Just try that the next time I do this. Stop bluffing. We know you need to sell quickly. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. No. What the? Security! Uh, you see, the secure team and I have an understanding. They're not gonna As you here. can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. So basically, every single set of well, things that talk. you can say would Some end in the exact same tactics, result. But we got what we were after. Time to go home, shall we? So, obviously, it's time to go home. Stop right there. You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah, Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon, am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property, now. Don't mind the guard in the background. Um, security? We're being harassed. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Slayton is a man of considerable resources. Hmm. We should get out of here before Slayton tightens his grip. You're okay. doing Constellation proud. Ready to tackle whatever the Starfield throws at us. You take Man, care, Man, drop! Right? You know, he's still standing here. That's the silly part. I wonder if he's still there after we leave. Like, he's just there forever, leaning up against that pillar. We hope you've enjoyed your time in the Astro Lounge. Thanks, security. You've been worth zero credits, but that's fine. Oh, no, they saved you from having to persuade. There are other ways around that. 
we can always just kill him, but that might get you a bounty, I don't know. I haven't tried going that route. Alright. Asa. But Something's gone I... wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. How dare you. There goes our way out. So much for this being easy, Wilcher. Yep, so much for this being easy. Yes, yes, I'm fully aware this has not gone according to plan. <laughs> Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. All right. So now we are going to Slayton Aerospace. Hence what they said earlier in the previous video about the fact that we were going to be going there anyway. Because you can't make spoilers. No reason. <laughs> Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs> I never realized I can get that quest from anybody other than Frank himself, but whatever. We're not doing those. We're going to Slayton Auto Space. Aerospace. <laughs> Slayton Auto Parts. They make engines. Yep. Pretty good engines, actually. Oh, hey, look! They're hostile. Ish. Ish. They're not gonna shoot me right now. So where was the magazine? On that table. So, once more, pointing out the magazine. This is where we get lasers doing more damage. Or more crit damage. Or getting another um, bankable audio auto slot for mm -hmm. lock picking. So there's a couple of ways of doing this. Um, I've done it both ways. So we're gonna try to do this talking to Riley. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? I don't know. Can you? No. I need to make an appointment to see Nicholas Slayton. I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is a very busy man. Oh, I understand that completely. This won't take up too much of his time. We've just had a bit of a misunderstanding. Arguments with Mr. Slayton tend to go long. I'm not sure we can fit you in. I mean, Wouldn't be, be here, here if Slayton hadn't impounded my ship. He did? Oh, yes, I do remember overhearing something about that. Oh, I think we can make an exception in your case. Mr. Slayton will see you. Just use the elevator. Thank you. So the other route for reference is you can walk Hoping over through to get here. Anything? I've been waiting all day. Into there. It's and steal the key. Yep. And that data slate display is actually the key to the elevator. You have a question. Or the, you can yeah, the access the code. All you want. So either way, we go into here. Oh, Wait, this clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move. But one easily can't. I had an appointment. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Issa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right, we've got her out. Once the door's open, just follow her instructions, okay? What's going on? Issa has control over the building? For the moment. Slayton will be scrambling his own security teams once he gets wind that we're no longer at his mercy. Our time is limited. Well, I'm not going because I'm an elevator person now. I build my kingdom here. Well, if my wife and I could gallantly offer your majesty a rescue from certain death, let's go. Doors will open in three, two, one. one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. So You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cover just to the right of the elevator you came in on. When I did this the first time, I managed, and as in with this character, I managed to do this entire thing without being caught a single time. 
when I did this with my stealthy character, I got caught over and over and over again, and not just because I was curious and started doing goofy things. Mm -hmm. So you'll want to quick save fairly frequently. Yes. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. Isa is so cool. Yep. So there are multiple passages around, but as long as you follow what Isa says, there's only one real point where you could be caught. Which I got caught. Over Drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. The emergency cuttable walls, apparently. Mm. Wouldn't call those forks. There is loot There's in those. Above you. <clears throat> Just climb up. But the second one has people. Yeah. Right into someone's office. Mm-hmm. There are heat leeches in here. No, Zeno grubs. Oh, Zeno grubs, right. The room below you is clear. Drop down. And stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now, straight across to the door. He's just so happy to talk. Um, when I came in here with my other character, there was somebody who had opened this door and was standing right there. They didn't care. Yeah, they didn't report you. <laughs> Which is ridiculous, but whatever. <laughs> my other character had so many more problems with this place. What if it's the level difference? My other Maybe. character is like 15 levels higher. No, wait, there's people in the room up ahead. Closing the shutters. The shutters are already closed, but still. I wonder if that's the shelter. This is also closed. Yeah. Don't worry, these bots can't. Another robot up ahead. Wait for it to pass, then head straight across to the maintenance door next to the security gate. Go now. Let me just get that for you. This is the part that I got caught before. But this time I didn't. You know the routine. Up the vent. It's a short one, I promise. He says also ridiculous. Back to stealth since you boost package. Thank you. Almost there. Door on the right. I still don't understand why this is ice. They had the cryo container for Yes, probably. but why? This is their, like, HQ area. Well, maybe it's R&D. I can never trust those developers. Developers, 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 developers. Anyway. There's the door. It should take you outside. Outside? You expect us to climb up the trade tower? There's a series of catwalks that lead directly up one floor to the executive level. Well, I guess after you. All right. So now we're outside, which means that there's no longer a chance of an alarm going off. My other character sniped every single person in this area. Because that was fine. They're all aggressive, they all hate me, and it was much easier. I'm going to try to do this stealthily. But you can see that there's security right there. All I re oh. I'm already seen, seriously. That's why you brought the Noah Blast Disruptor. But yeah. Of course, Sam is gonna start kill them anyway. Light him up! At least once they're stunned, your companions don't attack them. Because if they do, you break the stun. Like that. Like that. Which is why companions are trouble. Yeah. Open up! Now! 
I didn't fire. You can tell by the constellation of the patch. Probably being fun. So I was going to try to do this with stealth. My other character did a much better job with that. I'm moving. Fire! But of course she's on fire, so oh no. I apparently got her at the right time. I really love the Nova Blast Disruptor because it means you can keep going without killing anyone even if you are spotted. I mean, that's the reason for its existence. Mm -hmm. uh, you get, uh, you're get, you told to get one during the um, fusion questline. You are given one. Yes. Specifically because of that. And you don't get the... Or, you still get your bonus if you shoot people with it. Yeah, if you're caught but don't kill anyone. Yep. Which is good. The way it should be. Mm -hmm. Anyway, we're just going up to the top of the tower, as you do. But I got one even though I had a fully modded legendary one, so... Mm -hmm. Like, why are you giving me this unenchanted one? I have told This of unenchanted it. nonsense? And Sam's just confused down there. But don't worry, there's still more enemies. Oh, now we're at the top. And now we need to go... There is the little thing. It says that way, but it's actually over here. Yeah. Yes. Hello, teleporting Walter. I wish you could teleport... I wish you can control your teleportation. Anyway, let's continue. For this. Mm -hmm. By the way, there's a mob where it always keeps the uh, names on. You can toggle it on, but you have to do it every time you open that screen. That's all. There, there you are! Easy oh, mark! It didn't look like it. Like, you have taken environmental yeah. damage. That's normal with getting shot with a disruptor. Mm. Yeah, there's two more, but I don't really care about them. I'm just gonna go through here. No, those are the unconscious ones. Oh, right. They or, go up on radar. Yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go back in to sleep near space again. I don't know if they're unconscious or just unable to move. Yeah, they could just be stunned, I guess. Alright, so we're going through here. Going down, because we went up too high apparently. We don't actually need to stealth in the section, but I'm doing it anyway. You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over the top. Yep. So we've got Slayton's bodyguards up there, and guess who that person is with the quest marker? Hint, it's Slayton. <laughs> Um, if you sniped them right here, you get into a firefight. But we don't need to do that now, do we? No, we can do this without killing anyone. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> I am fully convinced that this is just some type of billionaire's LARP. Mm -hmm. Trillionaires, probably. You're enjoying this? Aren't you? In the back of your mind, through the tunnel vision of adrenaline, there's a part of you that belongs here. It happens to all of us. Off your guard, Slayton. 
And give me back my chip, please. You have what's mine. I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. I mean... I wouldn't trust your mercs. They haven't exactly stopped us so far. Hmm. You do make a bold point, but that doesn't resolve our current dilemma. Perhaps I can help. We're both people of business, Nicholas. In the same industry, no less. Yes, I'm beginning to see the opportunity. There is, however, one final detail to disclose. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the thief responsible for our serendipitous meeting was caught prior to your arrival. I think it would cement our new partnership if you were to decide on his sentence yourselves. Decide as in we can just let him go? If you wish. You will have the opportunity to tell him yourself, shortly. If you got a bad guy, even oh, a damn it. little bitty bad guy, that's you should bring him in. Yeah. Your call, though. But well, that's the choice. My to security time, brought Musgrove to my yeah. office. I'm sure seeing you no, again actually, will be a one. fine conclusion to your previous business. So I don't like the end of part of this because it makes. I know he probably wouldn't do the same for us, but that shouldn't matter. Because it makes no sense as to why all of a sudden it's, okay, we're at an impasse. Oh, by the way, I've got your contact. Just do whatever you want with him, and I'm letting you go. Bye. That does not make sense to me. It makes slightly more sense if you pick the other option about Walter instead of... Yeah. Or the Mercs not stopping you. But, yeah. So, there is actually loot in here, for reference. You know, it's moments like this. You steal what's mine. Can I... I guess? You have what's mine. Although, I... I do admit, having the co-CEO of Stroud Eklund in my... How are your quarterlies looking, Nicholas? Perhaps we can add Slayton Aerospace to our supply chain. Provided this unpleasantness was behind us. Yes. I think that could be a most beneficial exchange. There is just the small matter of paying for the humiliation. Mr. Musgrove, my former employee, and the th I think it... He's a thief. Let the authorities deal with him. If that is your decision, you need... That's the price of doing business. If you're a thief, that is. My security brought Musgrove Impact. to my office. Yeah, because you already made this choice. Anyway, there's loot in here. Uh, there's also loot further there. The guards start getting a little antsy when you're in there, though. Mm -hmm. And if you if you try to jump up there, the guards will immediately attack you. And if you walk up there, the guards will immediately attack you, which is just dumb. So... It's Mr. Musgrove. Also, his guards are spacers. Because... Face of paint. And attitude. And the voice. Oh, I do have precon. Oh, remind me to stay on your good oh, side. Oh, no. You. Slayton really does have a sick sense of humor. That... That one's not letting me move around. Thank you. So, where's the money, Musgrove? Slayton took it all. Probably in one of his secure accounts somewhere. I'll settle up with him later. Arbitration, lawyers, all that nonsense. Only 10,000 credits, who cares? You're a multi-trillionaire. Where you get 10,000 credits for? Um, you never knew what oh, yeah, the right. son was. Yeah, you're right. Just that... He wouldn't need ASUS to to approve it if it was only ten thousand. It's probably like a million or two. Yeah. Okay, that's fair. So why did you steal the artifact? I kind of want the whole story. Ten years working in aerospace engineering, 
and they laid me off. You damn right I stole that thing. They tell you if you have talent and commitment, you can go far. But the truth is it's all about who steals the most and gets away with it. Uh, yeah. So he wants me to decide what to do with you. Please. I was just trying to sell a product, okay? Isn't that why we're all here? Be lenient. We were taking advantage of his initiative, after all. Even if we have found ourselves working with the man he stole from. I don't think any of the companions like it if you kill him. I think they yeah. all dislike that. Everybody dislikes it if you kill him. But I know at least Andresia and Sam wants him to face just this, even though he stole it out of desperation. He was getting a raw mm -hmm. deal from the company. I don't blame him for it at all. No, I don't blame him. But we need to get Sam's affinity up yep. here. So everybody steals, you got caught. Justice for some, huh? Fine. Rather be caged than dead. You knew the risks, so don't act like a martyr, pal. I will make the arrangements for Neon Security to take him into custody. You're free to leave. And loot the boss chest. Let's talk yes. more back at the Chests. ships. Um, if you kill Musgrove, as mentioned, you do in fact get his outfit, including the little pin. Um, so, just some loot. How do you even manage to carry all that? I was about to say, maybe don't bother I'm gonna drop it because... because I'm showing where things are in here. So this is mostly stealing, but there's nobody who can see me steal that matters. <laughs> so you can grab the contraband cash. I'm not gonna bother. There's a lot of contraband in there. It's worth a lot of money, actually, but... Contraband... Remember to read the slate, because we did that. Oh, yes. Moby Dick, no. Clayton Slate. Daily calendar. Check in with agents regarding Musgrove. Cover all possible meeting points of the Astral Lounge, Madame Sauvage's, and half of the good alleyways. Uh, we need to test the elevator security override. We also need a liability insurance audit for both personnel and property damage, because we don't know what we're going to do. Um, let's activate some of that loss of life contractual clauses. Uh, we're probably going to lose like a dozen of them. We actually didn't kill anybody in this case. Sam did. Okay, we killed one. I th I think when we did this before, we didn't get anyone killed. Maybe one. No, we definitely got people killed. Um, practice your speech, you know, in the elevator and also when they finally arrive. And we need to do... Uh, so the meditation for the day is opportunity is created from setback. This is such a CEO thing. It would not surprise me if Elon Musk would have written that. No. No, it's not so No, enough. yeah. He would have thrown in Paid memes. somebody to do that. Throw in some memes and then, you know, snort cocaine or something. Anyway. Oh, they did memes of that. So, we go back to the lobby, and hopefully they're not all aggro on me. Um, I hit a glitch where they were mm -hmm. with my other character, not with this character. And that's it. If you weren't over encumbered, you could fast travel to your ship now, I think. Nope. Oh, right. You cannot fast travel in this case. They specifically block you from fast traveling in this particular instance. But I am going to drop some things so I don't have constant stamina loss. Good enough. Enjoy your new stuff, Lobby. So, let's go ahead and head out. I heard there's shortages over at Reliant Medical. I don't care. Great. Doc Manning better get his act together before I've answered a mystery that has plagued the settled system for over a hundred years. What are the terrible? Where do they come from? I used to be an actual. Now look at me. But we finally have the broadcast about that, but we haven't actually done that in the other game, so... That broadcast will play then. We're not aggro here. I have had it where randomly all of the guards in Neon upon entering from the elevator were aggroing me. 
There should be a sign, dump your Aurora here. There's nothing in the settled systems quite like me. I hate it when they Crazy, interrupt terrible, themselves. But never you should not do that. That's also a bug because that second one is supposed to be when you enter Neon. Mm -hmm. and the first one's when you leave Neon. That also happened the last time. Yeah, because you go through, pass through it, yep. and we're being penalized for that. I'm not even going that fast. I'm just normal run speed. I don't have anything increasing it. Alright. This is where I belong. Oh yes, that's right. Although it might only apply to the conversation with uh, Stroud and not with the next. A deal with a man who wanted us dead. And I guess we can call that a win. What do you think? You and your wife are cute together. <laughs> Thank you. I guess. Some people call Issa a jewel, but she's more than that to me. I can't really describe it. There's a me, and a her, and an us. And I wouldn't trade the us for all the credits in Neon. I always assumed your marriage was all business. You guys really, really are cute. Sorry. Get a room, right? <laughs> all in all, a great success. Thank you for allowing me to tag along with Constellation's newest star. <laughs> yes, I used a pun. Forgive <laughs> me. Maybe. Okay. And I gained fiscal quarter and a Which bunch of other things. It's useless at this. Get up and recast? Yep. Although, I might want to go talk with Sam first. Yes. Hopefully that's enough. Can I help? It's a rare thing to know they're right here and now. No, Catch up with you later. Nope. So this is definitely going to go out of order. Lift off initiated, Captain. Time to venture into that beautiful sky. Drive straight through the Existing design and not a material I recognize. You see much, but our ship is created from a power beyond your understanding. Its semblance to your own vessels only aids us in masking our presence. We are the Starborn, and you are unworthy to possess the artifacts. What gives you the right to determine we're worthy? We're dripping. Worthiness. <laughs> Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. My ship is actually moving. It's not still. Or maybe it's just the rotation of the planet? No, because look at the crosshairs mm -hmm. versus where the ship is. I don't know. Yeah, precog isn't working. Yeah, but I don't think precog actually works through ships. We have made it work once. We did? Okay. 
Have you been observing humans for long? We are growing impatient. Cease your attempts to stall for time. But you speak our language. We know everything about you. That is why your kind cannot have the artifact. Please tell us more about who you are. The more you understand, the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Full evasive maneuvers. Let's get out of here. We'll get through this. Hold on! And by evasive maneuvers, I mean I'm going to kill Also, it looks like a gyroscope from that perspective. Mm -hmm. In front of it. <laughs> Sit back down, Brinnick. What do you Nick? I can't pronounce that correctly. An accent marked over the E, so the E is long. And your children are back up, unfortunately. What you have done. Never heard of these starborn. And the speculation part of my brain is an overdrive. We need to regroup at the lodge immediately. Tell Noel to analyze the data off the ship's sensors. Hmm, but that looks like debris. Everyone's going to want to weigh mm -hmm. in on this. All hands on deck for this. The universe has got a little crazier. Deeper. Also, what I want to know is where did why were none of the rest of the ships in orbit around? Yeah, didn't other people see, see that? It? Yeah. Anyway, um, so we're supposed to go back to the lodge. And we kind of don't have a choice. We did do this part, but not too much more than this. Yeah, we spent the remaining time marrying Sam. Yes, so I'm going to do the start of this. Then we might need to pause to figure out how to get Sam's affinity up high enough to trigger the marriage stuff so we can show it on camera. Mm-hmm. Or this episode of my friend law. Yes, but I would like to actually be able to do it. for years now, and I'm always finding something new. Oh, the cameos is in low now. Yep, apparently. I'm not a fan of the UC, but this here... It's a little patch of heaven. I am holding down the button. How is Neon? Are you? Are you okay? Um. Any strange ships appeared in orbit? No. We were attacked. We need to hold an emergency meeting. Wait, what happened? Who was after you? Take a look at the ship's sensor data. I think everybody needs to see this. Uh, all right, I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Is that, is that a prototype? No, that material isn't anything we, what the? Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or crimson fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? 
Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Starborn. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children, playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra dimensional being. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that. Is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. <laughs> except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. Yep. I mean... Before I had said that Mateo's metaphor has merit, they were acting like they were judging us. But in this case, I'm specifically trying to side with Sam. Mm -hmm. Just because we can't ID it Ooh. doesn't mean it's not one of ours. Ooh. It's got shields, engines, all the usual settled systems tech. I don't mean to judge your grasp of material engineering, but I've never seen a starship built out of whatever that is. Although I bet if you put that ship hull in an artifact under the same lens, You'd get a match. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can, including some way to fight them if necessary. Until then, we stay the course, collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. And I no longer have precog. Mm -hmm. The only way to learn more is to keep going. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. So this is actually the point that I had saved it before. Actually, I think I saved oh, it at... So. One too many this. spots. I also think we got time for a quick chat. That. I'd appreciate it when you're oh. able. There we go. Okay, do you need quick something? Save and use the power. Will you get a moment? Can we talk? Yes. Ever since we've started uh, being there we a go. couple... Better. Things have been going well. Like, really well. But at a certain point, um, Cora, we, we gotta make sure Cora's all right with this. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like fun, good luck. <laughs> but you haven't told her already? I keep meaning to, and you know, there's just never the right time. All right, I keep checking out about it. You got me. I'm just so damn happy. It's hard to rock the boat. I mean, I think things are going super well. You... Right. Sorry, you You know you play hell with my attention span <laughs> sometimes. But it's not just about you and me. It's about my daughter, too. I'm not sure how much you've talked with Cora, but I think you should. Or hey, if you're happy with what we have right now, you don't have to. But if we get much more serious, I need to know Cora's on board. But shouldn't you be the one to talk to her? Oh, I'm gonna talk with her too. But Cora and I are a package deal. Yeah. She needs to get to know you and at least be okay with us being an item. I, think she's I really fine. hope that's not a deal breaker. I'm talk with Cora. Fun. Ah, don't worry about it. She doesn't bite. Well, not anymore. I'd like to talk to you about something. No. That is the start of the next video, so we are not talking to him about that. We are talking to Korra, which is apparently an activity. Is she on the ship? You have the chance. Yes. You can fast travel. 
Right. All right, time to speed run the rest of this in 10 minutes. Let's go. We'll run a little longer. Uh, hey, I have something for you. You might want moment. this. I am the most popular person right now, but I'm not talking to anybody except for the people I have to. Something ignoring you, you need. Ignoring you. Going up here. You talk with Mom Laura. says later this year we can spend a whole week together. A week! Mom says we might go to Paradiso next year. Sure. She's all excited about spa days. I wonder if they... Okay, bye. I a did brief history of time. If you find any addition, any at all, I will be your friend, like, forever. So, who's your favorite member of Constellation? <laughs> Is this a trick question? I'm not going to get in trouble, am I? No matter who I pick? It isn't your dad? No way! Choosing my own dad would be boring. Dad's my second favorite. Ahem, <clears throat> but maybe if my book allowance was bigger, that would change? Me, isn't it? <laughs> no! You're my third favorite. So what happens if I tell? You won't. If you tell, I'll tell everybody in Constellation that you said your favorite person was me. Then you'll be in trouble. All right, I won't tell anybody. Phew! <laughs> I'm glad you said so. My favorite person in Constellation is Sarah. She's so cool. I want to grow up to be just like her. <laughs> I've even been practicing being a leader by bossing my dad around. I don't think he likes it much. Your turn. <laughs> no fair asking a question if you aren't going to answer it too. Well... Your dad's my favorite. Oh, <gasps> really? Well, I bet he'd be happy if you told him that. I think you're one of his favorite people too. Maybe. Hey. Oh, wait, Hello Sarah. there. Hope you're not too worried about these starboard. Worried? Speed no, I think it's but fascinating. I, mm -hmm. I, I mean, know no, it I didn't maybe seems scary at one. first, but Is what if it's after? just a threat display? Oops. You know how lots of species will puff themselves up or show off their teeth and growl to scare off anything they don't like. I mean, they're not animals. We shouldn't assume anything. Right. We should just keep an open mind. So apologies sure for making sounds you like go we haven't seen voice. the last of them, so I guess we'll see what happens. So I need to discuss something important with you. It's about Sam and I. Good. I've been wanting to ask you something, too. Me first. Why did you help us out with Mom? It was super dangerous. Why do you need to know? Even Dad barely agreed to help me out, and he's my father. I just don't know why... Why you'd do so much for us. Because I always help my friends. Even when you could die and stuff. Huh. What are your intentions with my father? <laughs> I just love that line so much. <laughs> Excuse me? You heard me. Your intentions. Now. <laughs> Don't tell Sam yet, but I want to marry him. I figured it was something like that. Just so you know, I like you too. Dad's never been happier. Well, we've never been happier. So if you guys need to sneak off to smooch some more sometime, you have my blessing. That's how it works, right? Smooch some more. Uh huh. Actually, in this case, we haven't smooched him yet. Mm -hmm. In the other version, the one that got recorded and then deleted, we did smooch him first. And by smooch, I mean have sex. But... <laughs> Hmm. 
I am not saying that that's a horrible say to, thing mm -hmm. to say to your stepkid. Uh, but your blessing does mean the world to me. You're very welcome. So when I did this the previous time, Sam was standing right there. You've got something for me? No. She has something for you. Yes. I'm all ears. I hear about that. So Robert? how did Todd with Cora go? Free time. Bye then. The stuff you can do. So how did Todd with Cora go? <laughs> uh, was I supposed to talk to her about something? Yeah, good one. For real, what did she say about us? <laughs> <laughs> she says we're good for each other. You're not the only who I care about. I sometimes wonder how she can be my kid. She's smarter than I ever was. I keep thinking back to what you were saying, that we're lucky. I don't know. Luck is uh, too small a word. With so many people out there, the odds of well, finding you feels like... Uh, Destiny. That's a different. I mean, <laughs> look, I'm trying to play it cool. But you gotta know, I'm crazy about you. And, well, <laughs> how do you see this playing out? You, on top of and below me, in that tiny little bunk that is the only bunk in this entire place, repeatedly, and sharing your whole life together, of course. But you know, how do you do that? Right when I think I've got it all figured out, <laughs> you just rock my world again. Just call me Amadeus. In the very best way. I mean, I hoped, maybe even prayed. You mean it, right? I remember that I answered. I assume that means you want it too? Yes. I mean, hell yes. <laughs> well, apparently we're having a ceremony. Anytime you're ready, head over to Aquila City. Figure it's about time to make some genuine good memories at the Co Estate. Can't wait. All right. So Sam is with me until we get hitched. So let's get hitched. I mean, he'd be with me anyway, but you know. There we go. Damn it, me. The other Narian. <laughs> <laughs> this time landing in Aquila City, unlike last time where I landed in the empty nest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm getting married in two minutes. No. So this one's gonna run slightly late. I wonder what Solomon would think of this place now. He'd be like, why am I alive? What's going on? I don't understand. I can't even. Word to the wise, avoid the threat. All right. We Keep need your to nose speak clean. Jacob. Oh. Hopefully. Do not care, just moving. Yeah, I know I'm taking damage. I don't care. It doesn't matter because this timeline is just... To demonstrate what you all have missed. And to punish me for all of this. <laughs> because I just went through this with another character. Well, not Apparently much. we're having a ceremony today. Although right now, I it's just me and the mayor cooling our heels here. Jacob, it's a special day. This always happens. No, this is my son and his usual sloppiness. I got things to do, too. I have people to do in places to see. Apparently, on, we're go. having a ceremony today. Jacob, it's a special No, this is my son and his usual slop. Nice to see you, too. Yeah, you're right. Manners. Welcome to my house. Well, in a, in a sense, your house, too. Soon. 
Listen, you know, I know. Hell, the neighbors know my son and I don't always get along. I do care about him. He's blood. And he gave me Cora. But the way he looks at you... But do you know... You, you have a chance at real happiness together. So, uh, thank you. We've met once. So, just because you and Sam don't get along doesn't mean we can't. I could get behind that. You might be a good influence on my boy. After the ceremony, it looks like I get to have Cora for a little bit. I don't know if you had anything to do with Sam doing that. I think Sam just wants did, privacy. Yes. You have no idea what it means to me. So, this is a bad thing in my mind. There are certain grandparents that should not spend any time with their grandkid. I don't have any of those for reference. Well, don't know my paternal or maternal grandfather because he died well before I was born, but... Is she? Well, of course. Awkward small talk over. Well, Leonhardt should have arrived at the starport. Might be nice if someone went to meet her. And better fetch Cora, too. She's exploring the city. Which means she's at Sinclair's bookstore because she's, well, Cora. Yep. Alright. Let's go get the two witnesses to the wedding. Or two of the three, I should say. Outside the wall, things get dicey. Asta are no joke. In yeah, first. but... I'm just going to the bookstore. So probably fine. Go. It's a good read. But you could pick that particular book up anywhere. Sure. But your shop is like the best in the galaxy. I had to drop by. Yeah, that's true. Well, thank you. You, my dear, are welcome anytime. Oh, hi. Did it again. I got a new book. Charles Dickens. Fiction. Great expectations. Not related to today. Yeah, right. Or is it? <laughs> what time is it? Shit! Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Swear. Sorry. I lost track of time. Howdy, Bell. Everyone's gonna hear about this. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Wait, what? You are joking, right? Please, uh... Don't. I want to let you know I'm okay with this. The ceremony? Dad is dad, but he's lonely and you make him happy. And I like your ship loads. Oh, and you, too, of course. Fair. Hope this is okay. But I mean, you're gonna be my stepkid, so I love ya. I... uh... Wow. No tears. Big girl. Did you even mess over? I love you option? too. Very, I don't very have... much. Uh, yeah. So. Right. Yep. Big day. Let's get to it. I'll get to the estate right away. All right. Time to go grab Lillian. Also, I think we stopped and bought the book on Egypt. When yes, we did. We did. This because that gives a landmark quest. Yep. For a snow globe. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be gone. I'm pretty sure the whole town wouldn't be an extra buffet. Seems like the crimson the would be much smaller. So, you're the one that's picking me up? Nice to see you in a less life threatening situation. I mean, give it time. We might have people shooting at us yet. I don't remember which one I chose now. I think it was the bottom option. Yeah, probably. Hope springs eternal. Just to let you know, this shouldn't be awkward. Sam and I were never meant for each other, and we both moved on from whatever we had. Some unsolicited advice. Be there for him, all the way. He and Cora deserve that. Yeah, I remember which one I answered. Mm -hmm. Won't spend every minute with them. Good. Sam doesn't want codependency. 
He wants a partner. A real one. I know the way to the Co estate. Meet you there. The service is tech. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. You've got to have at least half your power. I don't think I've seen that conversation before. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to kick down? I might do it without kicking down. Time to get married. Late at night in dive bars. Sometimes the old timers share stories mm -hmm. about things they've seen that they just couldn't explain. This is a bad Those time for this, Sam. Mm -hmm. I've heard of things like the Starborn before. Yeah, this is. But yeah, I'm gonna fast forward real. through this a little bit because honest to God, you real. all will be seeing it next video. Mm -hmm. I genuinely can. It's real. So the obvious question: Everyone's gonna be thinking their ships were. Incredible. They had engines. If they were really, I mean, it could be some. Exactly. I'm gonna throw it. On. Here's the hypothetical. But they go. Once they get there, I could see them get. And we're getting married. If yes. I got it right. Stop. Stop talking. One way or the other, other. and that's. Well, everyone's here. You ready to start the shindig? Hell yeah. Okay, I'll let Mr. Cart right now. Welcome to everyone. Paint black. <clears throat> One of my favorite duties as mayor is to preside over mayor? joyous occasions like this. Couples like yourselves, full of love and affection and eager to share a life together. Well, it's a blessing. Oh, we're a blessing now. Mayor's laying it on real thick, ain't he? And two helpings of blessings at breakfast. <laughs> I had mine with a side of delicious anticipation. <clears throat> Sam, have you prepared any vows? Oh, right. Um, here goes. Um, life comes easy for some folks. They get most things right the first time. But uh, that has never, ever been me. But this time... I know I got it right. Because of you. I know you've had a tough life, too. But we really are the lucky ones. There are a million billion stars out there. To find anything that really matters is kind of a miracle. And as the good mayor says, I'm truly blessed because I have you in my life. Mm. So when I met you and Cora, I knew I was in trouble because I fell hard. You and me both. Don't know what the future holds? There'll be laughter and love. Always. I understand you wanted a moment here, Sam? I never met someone who knew me, the real me, and still wanted to be with me. I want you to have this. It's my free Star Ranger badge. Looking back, I'm grateful because every step and every misstep brought me closer to you. That's very touching. <clears throat> Excuse me. By the power vested in me from the Articles of Confederation, I officially and quite happily declare you life mates. Let me be the first to congratulate you both. <laughs> I think we made some comments about the lighting on Sam's face because yes. the shade of his hat does the opposite. Yep. <laughs> so it looks like basically they did where they dimmed the lights everywhere else. So the shading is just replacing the appearance. Dad's never smiled that wide. Almost scary. Congratulations to the happy couple. Well, I'm glad Space Wyoming is letting me worse, get married. You're part of the Co family now. 
You are, you know, just one look, you get my heart racing. <laughs> it ain't fair. There are no marriage. words. I need better words, stronger words to talk about you. Oh, too bad our relationship is working out. <laughs> I made that joke before as well. But this is the end of what I'm going to be recording. Another day in paradise with you. <laughs> but time to get back to work. So I hope you've enjoyed this internet. Because we should be back up to where I was before. So for reference, you're going to see me back in the lodge Just keep your gun video, holstered, Derek. Because that's where we, we originally ended up saving. Married Sam first and then yes. did all that money can buy. So hope you've enjoyed this internet, and for the very last thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna go sleep with my spouse. Get up on the only bunk in this entire ship, and everybody else is going to hear all the noises. Sucks to be them. However, weirdly enough, Cora is on the ship, so it's a little awkward. But whatever, anyway. No, she's staying with her grandmother. Oh, that's right. For our honeymoon. All right, honeymoon of one hour. Let's go. As Sam just goes <laughs> sideways. I can go for round four. Ooh. But I awaken with a newfound sense of security. Emotional security plus 15% XP gain. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye! Bye.